Hello Dynamics users and welcome to the Custom Service Overview. This application can help you to organise interactions, lower costs and deliver a better experience. Knowing your customers enables you to personalise each experience and optimises your agent productivity so you can earn customers for life. Fundamentally, the agent experience is the heart of this application. The key to improving satisfaction in service delivery is enabling agents to take customer requests from any channel, handle multiple sessions at a time, interact with multiple apps without losing context, and enhance their workflow with productivity tools. By using Dynamics Customer Service, you can track customer issues through cases, record all interactions related to a case, share information in the knowledge base, manage conversations across channels, Use AI-driven embedded insights and analytics to improve customer satisfaction. Collaborate with experts in Microsoft Teams. Create and track service levels through service level agreements or SLAs. Define service terms through entitlements. Manage performance and productivity through reports and dashboards. Create and schedule services. Participate in chats. Now, in this overview, we'll look at dashboards and insights, case creation, knowledge bases, and using Microsoft Teams and Outlook to streamline processes and speed up case resolution. The interface is the same as other Dynamics applications, with the main menu on the left-hand side, the contextual menu along the top, and the user chosen view in the remaining space. If we jump into dashboards, you can see some pre-installed configurations for typical customer service departments. If we select the Tier 1 dashboard, we see there are four views for active cases, resolved cases by the user, drafted emails, and user's activities. This would be a good starting point for a customer service agent's day, as they get a snapshot of their current work status. If we navigate to the Tier 2 dashboard, we can see a more visualized view showing which products are having the most cases, which is the most common case priority and the source of the case creation. It's important to note, you can create and share your own dashboards that may fit to the unique needs of your agents and customer service department. We can do this at the top contextual menu by clicking new. We can create a dashboard using Dynamics 365 data or you may want to use Power BI to create a highly customized visualization. For example, service managers may want to see the case funnel for time spent in which step, or find out where time is wasted and other bottlenecks. Now, if we move on to the cases on the left-hand menu, we'll see a view of the agent's active cases that have not yet been resolved. By clicking the view title, we can switch between this view and others such as cases resolved this month, the agents resolved cases, cases with a new customer update, and so on. The table of information shows information such as case number, current status, customer name, agent owner, and creation dates. Like dashboards, you can create your own. This is actioned by using the advanced find. If you want a quick, Temporary view, you can choose the edit columns and edit filters buttons on the top right of your screen. If we click on an individual case, this will display all the relevant information for that case. The agent can see the severity level, type of support, case creation origin, and so on. We can also input reference codes if the issue is with an external organization that needs escalation. Each new case has a generated number that you can share with your customer service department or the customer so relevant people have fast referral to that specific case. If we scroll down, we can see all the case notes and every time stamped interaction between customer and agent. If we navigate to the tabs menu, we can also see the survey responses powered by customer voice, a critical tool for any service team to gain insight on performance and identify areas of improvement. With Outlook integration, 
We can also directly add cases as well, as lookup references from email contents, streamlining and speeding the agent's organisation process and keeping the agent inside the email client. If we move on to knowledge articles, we have a clear list of information on how to resolve tasks, rapidly speeding up resolution and prevents unnecessarily lost time. Each article has a reference number, a title and its author. If we navigate to a specific article, we can see its keywords for quick lookup by agents in the future, as well as a content area for author to describe detail on the issue and how to resolve it. When we create a new article, we can use a pre-made template, saving time for potential issues that are similar to each other. For example, a list of products may have slight alterations that require slightly different resolutions. If we were an agent with an issue, we can look this up using the knowledge search view. The left panel you're seeing now is used for searching keywords and titles related to the case problem, which brings a list of matching knowledge articles with summarised information. If we click on a case, it will detail all the contents on the right panel for the agent to absorb and potentially resolve the case. The agent can also pop out the window on the browser and print it for organisations needing this format. Now, if we move on to email templates, this is a very important part of the Dynamics customer service application. It's critical an organisation can offer consistent, valuable information. Using Dynamics service templates, you can automate emails depending on actions taken, either by an agent or a customer. This could be an email confirmation to the customer that your inquiry has been received, a case number has been generated and thanking them for getting in touch. You can use dynamic code snippets to personalise the email. For example, use their first name, reference the unique case number and so on. This capability relieves agents of doing manual email processes and keeps communication consistent and prevents human error, saving significant time and delivering a better service. The last area I wanted to cover in this overview was collaboration across your service department. Using Teams integration, you can work together on specific cases directly in Teams. By navigating to a specific case, then clicking on Collaborate on the top menu, you can import the view directly into Teams for you to work together. In addition, in public preview, as part of the customer service roadmap for this year, a new feature called Swarms takes this a step further. You can directly identify people in your organisation to help you with a case. In fact, you can set up rules so there are suggestions ready for the agent. For example, if you have a billing issue, you could tag the accounts team to take a look with you. This will then get pulled into Teams where details and further updates on the case can be managed here until a resolution is found. This capability leverages your whole organisation to be customer service focused and brings skills across departments to deliver faster and better resolutions. This brings us to the end of the overview. If you enjoyed it, we would love to hear from you. If you're interested in other Dynamics applications, you can view our other overviews on our channel. Thank you very much.